All right, so we live. Or are we? <laughs> this 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 app, boy. Right, Vendetta Gaming. Good night. <coughs> we live. Any coughing here is not current current um Corona virus, please. All right, so um. We doing some game of shit tonight, so when you're doing the keep, <coughs> we do the keep later now, right? Not later tonight. Alright, so this game of thing have sections, boy. I'll you know that how many sections you have. Doing, 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 doing. I just want to I'll look into snap a little picture. So when I revise it. One of the things I do would be revising from uh, the syllabus point of view, especially before exams, just to make sure that I don't leave out anything. So in preparation for this revision, I would advise that you use this book. This woman didn't pay me no money, Anton did. And I can't show you snapshots of the book because, you know, like this is not my book. Collins and them must have a tooth if I show you snapshots of this book, right? So CXC Chemistry. Concise revision course, Antindale. This is one of the best books to study of all the, especially if you're not going lessons to study the the things that you need to memorize in chemistry. And I also like her her book like this. Once again, she gave me no money to endorse the book, so this is my honest opinion. This is one of the better chemistry books for CXC. And there's a chemistry book for GC that you can get to help you to understand the principles in chemistry. I'm in the States and it's worse here. Yeah, boy. Um, so when you're doing physics. So every, hopefully every night, depending on how good tonight goes, hopefully every night we do something, right? Because, you know, we had we to secure them ones in spite of. So, organization of the syllabus is like this. Now, if you are custom, if you're not new to this channel, you will know that I did this whole thing. Imagine that. One third of chemistry is right here on this channel. And I did that not last year. I think I did that the year before. So, 2018. And people already use that and mash up exams already. So, if you're in using this, I don't know what to tell you. Use this on the channel to help you revise organic chemistry. There's about, I don't know, eight videos or something, and I'm putting real effort into them videos. There are one or two mistakes in one of the videos, one or two of the videos, and I put it in the comments, right? Like I'll leave out a letter or I'll miss out a number or some kind of thing, right? Um, but that help people secure some ones. So go through those videos for organic chemistry. So I'm going to try to do this one this year. In organic chemistry and before exams you do this anyhow because that's what we did last year we did live videos on this but i want to see try doing some live videos study with me kind of thing in organic chemistry so this is just mainly stuff to memorize there's a keep up on the place so for free that has passed papers the solutions isn't free though well done so you see why it's useful to be in the live, you're finding out it's useful information like this. So check out the CXE app on the Play Store. So that's Google. Yeah, so yeah. And see, so I don't think that app available to my country in Jamaica. So look for that. What's the name of the app, Danny? Anyone to link past papers? Anyone? So I know there's people start piling up all their past papers and drives. But what happens sometimes I share a link? And then people might put contraband thing on the link, and then um, I get a bad sharing link that way. So it's a bit kind of risky at sharing links. Uh, I'm sharing the link, right? So y'all could share the link there, and I'll, I'll, I'll allow it to come through. Oh gosh, I need to sign you, all kind of thing. So inorganic chemistry, that's what we want to do tonight. Um, let's look at where inorganic chemistry starts. Um, the dum 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 dum. In organic chemistry, starts with metals. I know that. That's what we're doing tonight. Um, section C, right? Section C. All right. 
right? So let's take a little peep at the syllabus. Some of you all probably never see this in your life before. The syllabus can be found online with a Google search. I would advise that you read through your syllabus at least once just to know. It helps to put things in a nice little map in your mind, but the mapping is helping the revision. <coughs> So, yeah. So go ahead and read this while I try to sign in into this chat. But why did not allow me to sign in the chat? No easier marriage. I press the all to go in the chat then. Don't need to take our actions. Got it. Now bring this over on this side. Now I have a big, nice chat here. Great. Good night from Guyana. We re where we out here walking around like ninjas following the COVID nineteen confirmation. <laughs> oh gosh. So, um, what we can take away from this way? Characterize metals and non-metals. Um, develop determine order of reactivity. We need to memorize that laboratory methods of pre um, preparation collection of non-metals. Uh, metals, non metals. So, this is just metals and non metals, living system, environment, um, characteristics, relationship between metals and metals, uses. So, this is the whole of this section. We're not going to do the whole of this section tonight. Um, there's a link in my bio for past papers. All right. So, yeah, X. I like to try this on, on, on Instagram. X that Trinidad. That X. He says he has a link in his bio for past papers. Um, his Instagram bio. And once you're on Instagram, make sure you follow me. Hey. At Kerwin Springer. And at the Student Hub. What I want to do is create a little website that's already created that where people can share stuff and interact with everybody and see, and get information at a very cheap um, price. Understand the characteristics. Da, 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 da. All right. So let's start the metals now. So we have an idea about that. Let's see what they want us to do with metals. Let's get this first part down lock. You all see in this, I'm gonna minimize this. Right. I hope he leaves this video up. Yeah. So you all notice I talk and converse in the video. That's why I keep people interested. If I was just going doing 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 that might get kind of boring and thing. But talking keeps people interested. But when you're watching a wedding video, sometimes they have to fast forward. So that's just how it is. Um, any study tips? Yes, yeah, so I'll give study tips right along through this, right? So pay attention. Describe the physical and chemical properties of metals. This is just straight up memorizing. Straight up memorizing what we had to do there. So we come into that. So physical properties, and we need to know melting point, boiling point. How to this how to describe that? These kind of questions is just come for junker marks, and you need a little description on it. Melting point, boiling point. Conductivity, um, so that's electrical conductivity. Um, luster, uh, luster pronouncing that correct. I know that had to do with shininess, like how bright it shines. Um, so luster, <laughs> hardness, density. So no joke, I'm sweating your chemistry videos whole day. <laughs> All right, Andy. Um, hardness, density. So we need to know about that and how to talk about that in a nice fat way to get marks without too much BS, you know, it must be pure facts. Chemical properties, they include action of oxygen, water, dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute sulfuric acid. So you need to know oxygen, water, HCl, H2SO4, react with all the metals. So in the table, in this book, there's like a list of all the metals and how it reacts. So what really helps in this, the next section is Reactivity. The next part is reactivity. Next part in the syllabus. Let me just scroll along and show you one point. 
one um, Syria two, right? We really start the learning yet, but this part is important. You want to get an idea of what to learn. Like, I don't know. Um, I know for a lot of students who do really well, they do this technique so that there's a map to what you're learning. Instead of just beating the textbook one time and you're just learning abstract things, you're just feeling like you're just piling on. If you learn the web of things that you need to learn and then you start learning along the web, it really somehow it just makes it easier to memorize. You don't leave old stuff. It does better, right? Take more with faith. I've been doing this thing a long time now. All right. So what, what this is is sections in the syllabus, right? So this is section one, characteristic of metals. And this is 1.1, 1 1.2. 1. 1. So you need to describe the reactions of metal. Oh, so if you realize here, this is the metal by itself. This part here talks about the metallic oxides, hydroxides, nitrates, and carbonates. So you need to be able to describe the chemical and physical properties of these things here. Well, the reactions, I should say, the reactions of these things. Um, suggested practical activities. You can take a little read at that. This part not really that important. I'm just just seeing which section of the marks it go under. Um, da, 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 da. Equations are required. You see that? So when you're memorizing the table, now you're sure that you need to memorize equations too. Right? Reaction with dilute acid, action of heat. That is decomposition, action of heat. So they talk more in decomposition. Yeah, some, you know, some is decomposed, some don't decompose. That is the kind of questions. And you already do a little pass paper, so you start to feel out where that's coming from. Now, what I want you to take a look at is section two here. Check section two deals with the reactivity. So the reactivity series, which you have to memorize. And displacement reactions is one of the famous things in the reactivity series. Yeah, use the syllabus as the web where you're attaching all the knowledge to. So you use your syllabus, then you want to use a concept for chemistry, you want to use a concise revision book. Either your lessons notes, like if you want to have good lessons, use that. Or you could use this book. This woman did not pay me to recommend this book. <laughs> it's the chemistry and Tyndale Collins um, concise revision course. This is really good. This uh, when I recommend this to students, they do really good um, for CXC. So use that to help you memorize off. Because this has lots of tables and it's written in a way that you can memorize things quickly. And then if, you, if you're using this consistently, this will attach to the map, your web of your syllabus, better. This follows the syllabus, right? <clears throat> now, some people have the big chemistry books like these. These are harder to revise from because there's lots of it. Chemistry is just a big topic. It could just keep getting bigger. And they could just talk more and more. Right? And they could just go on and on in chemistry. So chemistry is something you need to... Plan for if you are kind of health a skeleton learner for chemistry, you can end up in problems. You want to have it nice and neat. I'm talking about your mind here in terms of how you organize the learning, right? Because remember, there's trends and then there's exceptions and then there's equations and then there's um, definitions and all these things need to fit nicely in how you learn them together. Not just like you're just piling on one on top of the other. Reactivity. Da, 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 da. Deduce the reactivity. Now, this part here, what I would do, even though we're just going to learn section 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2 tonight, um, I want to do the reactivity series as well because it kind of comes in line with some of the stuff we're going to learn here. So let's start off with 1.1, right? Physical and chemical properties. So these sessions will help you get your revision in check. Um, sometimes the concise don't help. Yes. That is true because the concise is not uh, explaining really. The concise is for more memorizing. If you need explanation, you go online, you search it up, you watch some videos on it, you, um, you use a bigger textbook, you ask a teacher, you ask a lessons teacher, whatever. Um, physical and chemical properties of metal. All right, so physical and prop. So, what's the physical properties of metal? I remember learning five. But we got a little one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six. So we talk more physical properties here. Physical properties. And we're going to get in a way that we can memorize it before the ex from now straight to the exam. Yeah, I'll let this live run.
physical properties physical properties of metals so this is what I would do you have high boiling point high melting point solid <clears throat> at room temperature most of them except mercury so that's the one I didn't really have other property um, conductors good electricity and heat ductile Javinda, well done and malleable ductile malleable see some other things shiny that do the luster and have high densities so let me just take a little peek at the syllabus again because that was from our textbook that's from our knowledge so they want us to talk in terms of melting point well, excuse me i just need to talk to this guy yeah, uh, right now in a class, so I'll call you back after the class. Melting point, boiling point, conductivity, luster, hard, hardness, so malleability, ductile, um, and density. So this hardness part here, buddy. What we mean by hardness? What you would say in terms of hardness? Uh, that opaque, yeah, opaque as well, like you can see through. Um, but we're not seeing anything with opaque here, right? That may be for keep people. I see some people from last year here, so keep people must be saying, Let me, let me squeeze in some revision. So, physical properties we want to learn it in a way that we can memorize it. So, I'm, I'm giving you all my tips here, right? MP, I will put it like this MP, BP, melting point, boiling point, high. Now you need to know the reason for this as well. So if I'm learning this, I might cross learn this with the reason for this. Right? Um, let me just go back and see if they have the reason for this in this section. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, no, so no reason here. But you should have an idea of why the melting point is high. Why, why is the melting point and boiling point high? Somebody write that in the end. Why is the melting point and boiling point high in in metals um so because of this because my mother tried to memorize this right so because of this we also have um solid at room temperature solid at room temperature with the exception and i can learn the exception one time anytime you learn a rule in chemistry you have to learn the exception as part of the rule. Hardness, forces of attraction. Blah, blah, blah. They have strong forces of attraction between the atoms, therefore, you take a hammer of energy to break it apart. Yes, but why is there high fo strong forces of attraction between their atoms? Except mercury. Mercury is HG, right? So, if I make a mistake, just let me know. You know, uh, this is the first year in a long while I have teach chem whole year. Like I normally teach all these subjects via lessons, but this year I focus on maths, pure maths, and add maths right through. So, um, melting point, boiling point, high solid at room temperature. So these two kind of go hand in hand. So I'm going to put the next one in a kind of gray color. because You know, I'm going to put this in a blue color. Um, because this one is the third one, and this has to do with conductors. Conductor. And we want to, when anytime you think conduct, conductors, you want to think two things heat and electricity. Heat and electricity. So just having this like this will help me. I don't know, this will help me remember it more, right? So, like if I'm reviewing this, now I want to write when I re revise it all the time. I don't want to read this in my textbook and say, okay, I know it. For some reason, I would want to write because in CXE, CXE don't test how good you are reading. Um, that's not how you're going to read. They're not going to read your mind in the exam. You're going to have to write down your answer. And also, so you want to practice writing down your answers. You can use shorthand form and just lengthen it in the exam. Like what I'm doing here. Melting point, boiling point, high, solid at room temperature, except mercury. Conductors, good. So good conductors. So the word good should be here, right? Because that is the descriptor here. So it's good conductors. Good conductors of electricity and heat. Very good. 
And now we want to talk about malleability and ductile. So these two will go together. I'm bringing in back the black, malleable and ductile. We will just say it hard. So these two kind of go together again. Um, and also shiny. But before I write shiny, I write the fancy way that they put in the syllabus. Luster. Right? Um, shiny. Anybody you talking about maths now? Follow me on Instagram. Look up what I have coming in terms of crash course. Call the number. Join the crash course. It's $200. You are among the money you're saving in traveling, going to school in these next two weeks. Just take that $200. Join the crash course. It will really help. Luster and shiny. Um, luster, shiny. And the very last thing. Since this is the last thing, I'll put this in a different color. You know, just to everybody memorizing here. Um, high density. So, just going through that like that, talking with you all, I, I, I can remember the whole thing. Let me see if you can remember the whole thing. Because if they ask about what are like five physical characteristics of metals, we're supposed to have that. Um, so, according to the syllabus, what we're giving things according to what we see in the syllabus. So, some people mention opaque and brittleness. We in the writer. So the first thing was melting point and boiling point. Then I draw the arrow and I say because of that, solid at room temperature. So high melting point, high boiling point, solid at room temperature. Um, Jamaican money can't join crash course. No, that's not true. I have lots of people in calling from Jamaica and signing up to the crash course. The pain tree, the PayPal or bank transfer. So that's not true. Um, what was after that? The next color. Uh, you all see now the revision works, right? Um, electricity and heat. Good conductors of electricity or heat and heat. Then after that, we talk about malleability, ductile, hard, shiny, and the very last thing, which I put in red, high density. So allow my mind to think about those things, you understand? You don't want to learn it like words. You want to learn it more like images and sound and touch and a vibe <laughs> more than just words uh, one of the worst things just for me to watch is students memorize it by like just beating it into the brain memorizing that's the, that's, <laughs> that's the dumbest way to memorize let me just be straight with it that's like one of the dumbest things you can do to memorize you see what i just did there put it in a nice way and then the number one technique that i just do here is Recall it back one time. So after you write down something, we're gonna try and bring it back up. We're gonna just bring it back up. We're gonna just bring it back up. So you learn something, bring it back up. Learn something, bring it back up. So we check ourselves back with our physical properties just now. So chemical properties now. So how we are writing physical properties in black? So you're going back with the chemical properties now. Chemical properties. Chemical properties. How are we doing this out here? So chemical properties have to do with the type of reactions that take place. But before we go back into the textbook now, let's check back. <coughs> the syllabus. So this is examinations of that. All right, so look in the chemical properties here. So they're helping us describe the chemical properties over here. See that? And there's like four or five things you need to know with the chemical properties. Um, what are the four or five things? You need to know oxygen, water, dilute HCl, acid. Dilute HCl acid. You see this justify thing? <laughs> and dilute sulfuric acid. So oxygen, water, HCl, sulfuric acid. Four things. And next thing in, people is get frightened about is learning too much. There's no such thing as learning too much. You need to understand that. Absolutely no such thing as learning too much. Oh, somebody insulted me here. Go to his channel. All right, let me see who insulted me here. We're learning, bro. It's not roasting time right now. Take a little time out there, bro. Um,
Right, so back to the chemistry. So there are four things we have to learn here. Oxygen, water, dilute hydrochloric acid, and dilute sulfuric acid. Oxygen, water, dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute sulfuric acid. So if it, now you can check your textbook, and sometimes this is how you realize that some textbook is... It ain't so hot, man. Some text look better than some. When you check the syllabus and you realize, yo, this is helping me learn everything that I want to learn to the point. This is giving me information and so you get to realize which textbook is what will what's best for the syllabus. And especially when you when you finish, when you finish review this, you want to go and do some past paper questions. So somebody now could check up some years for me and see what year metal characteristic of metal come in section C. So check out that and see if you can get some um Questions for that. All right. Um, so chemical properties and reactions. We need to learn for oxygen, water, hydrochloric acid, and sulfuric acid. Well, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid will be similar, right? Dilute acids, both of them dilute anything. Dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute sulfuric acid, similar. So you learn one, you learn the next one. CXC in pushback. CXC in pushback, right? So we have nothing on that yet. So, okay, so let's start with the metal and oxygen. All right, and the metals and oxygen. So, chemical properties is four things oxygen. So, you see, now we can again. Uh, Water in it, I order about it, right? Oxygen, water. Some of them wouldn't even react with the water. So I doesn't really see copper reacting in water, just so yeah. So some of them would have to be um steam, and then some of them might even react with the steam too, and then dilute HCl or H2SO4, right? Um so these are the, what we need to know for metals. So let's start off with the oxygen. Oxygen. So what is the reaction in oxygen? So you want to learn the trend and the exception as fast as possible. And let's come back. Going. <laughs> we ain't blocked before you. Well, all right, all right, all right. All right, Ellis, you ain't come to do no chemistry and you're distracting me. Normally, I let people, you know, do the thing, but oh gosh. You're distracting the people out here. Right, so we inside, we back inside. Um, If anybody gain trouble in the chat, just let me know. Because I just be scanning each other every now and then. So just say, cool, in this man, you in trouble with that thing. Um, what are you looking at, buddy? Oxygen, yeah. What are going on with oxygen, Ali? I think before we start this, we should know the list. What is the, what is the list? What I mean by the list? The full list of metals. Oh, do we have it in the syllabus? Let me just take a peep at the syllabus, see if they give us what we what we need, what they want us to do, what they don't want us to do. Um no, so you're going based on past papers and the textbook. I remember there was a little, uh, let me get a little, little code you used to remember this, eh, boy? So we have potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, um, aluminium, Zinc, zebra, <laughs> zinc. <laughs> As you guys come along, if you guys have any key pass with links, um, x dot trini dot. I share it. I share it on my story. It must be still on my story on Instagram. So that will be both the links out here. <laughs> right. So cool. 
Um, so we have potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, zinc. Now, well, please stop calling me a zebra. So yeah, that was it. Please stop calling me a zebra. <laughs> right. Please stop calling. Anybody ever hear about that? Me a zebra. Um, after a while, you just notice by without any um, acronym, without anything. Eh? But if you if you are not needed, I give a need one time. I give a need one time. Why people come in the last year talks here? Yeah. Some people say definitely the last year stream. But. Um, then iron, copper, silver. Um, um, iron, copper, silver. I. Uh, I like there's an L lithium. Let me just double check this. Um, lead, there's lead, there was lead, but we don't have lead in the text, okay? Um, because I like him calling, I like him calling Selena Gomez or something like that. We see this. I Anybody know about this? Never heard of it before? Go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like him. Calling Selena Gomez or something like that. So now I'm going to take this on a brand new page. I'll look at, see if this works for you. I mean, you had to know it one way or the other, right? So if this is the one way that you're going to memorize it, fine. Hey, one if it's stupid and it works, it works. Eh? Zinc, iron, lead, and this one is special. This is hydrogen. Um, copper, silver, gold. I like him. Calling some Selena Gomez, right? Calling Selena Gomez. Oh, it's a, it a word of things to, to finish off that. But I think this is what we said. I like him calling Selena Gomez. So please, but especially this, this initial part here, you needed to know that. But what I ended up doing, if, if you're into that, I ended up just learning potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminum, zinc, iron, lead. So I just learned it like that, aluminum, zinc, iron, lead. Just by saying that, I kind of get a feeling of it. Aluminum, zinc, iron, lead. So I didn't really need, need this, really. Um, and right after lead, we have our hydrogen. That's important so you know who hydrogen could displace. Now. And copper, silver, gold. This Somehow I just remember this. <clears throat> I know gold is the least reactive. Under gold is platinum. Um, silver right above gold and copper right above silver. So... That is that. That is a reactivity series. Because when you're going to apply it to the table now in the oxygen, you're using the series in your mind to kind of see who is going to be vigorous, who is going to be violent, who is going to violent, vigorous, slow. Right? Violent, vigorous, slow. Violent, vigorous, slow. And do not react. <laughs> who do not react? All right. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Alright, oxygen. Chip, 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 chip. Alright, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium. We're going to learn them in the blocks, right? Because <clears throat> these are like the bad boys. These are like the middle guys. These kind of amphoteric and thing. Uh, zinc, iron, aluminium. Um, and these is the, the crew that really react with nobody. So it's please stop calling me a KLS zebra instead try to know copper says gold. Yeah, I see that one already too. Why is hydrogen here? Yeah, notice I put hydrogen out, out of the loop, right? Because it's not really a metal per se. But you need to know who hydrogen gangster in. So you know, need to know who hydrogen could displace in chemistry. Right? So you want to know where to squeeze in the hydrogen. Yeah, I miss anything I know touching. Yeah, you miss real plenty. Bro. 
although it was just talk here, but the ideas and tips that are given was, you know, interesting, more interesting. All right, so you're going to learn them in the blocks. This is the bad boy blocks. This is the middle guys, and this is the loners. They're not really into the reacting business. So I learn potassium, so that potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium. Potassium, so from now on I'm just going to use the symbols out of laziness. Sodium, magnesium, calcium. Calcium, magnesium. Calcium, magnesium. Alright, I just need to see them in the periodic table for some odd reason. <laughs> this is like a study with me session, right? So I'm just... The same things that I will do to memorize, I'm doing it here. I... If, if I were you and I, I was just trying to learn chemistry before CXC, I would find this extremely valuable. This is like a big brother just showing you how I would memorize this, right? Periodic table. Periodic table. One nice simple quick one that I could just snap here. You see, when, when I'm um, seeing this in the periodic table now, I don't know, it would just add a little stability to how I'm memorizing this. So sodium is here, um, sorry, potassium is here, sodium is here, calcium, magnesium. So you're seeing what's happening there. Up this group, up that group, up group one, up group two. Yeah, you're feeling me, you're feeling that, right? Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium. I see an action in the chat. Distraction. So you can read this message. So you know after the teacher and me, mosquito from KRC, no. Um, I wonder if da 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 who you know who? And I'm afraid to say the name, I'll be afraid to read some of the things because some of them are very, um, I'll not in chemistry, I'll not got that. Some, some mind. I'll be reading some names. Say so block Ellis and now he cry. <laughs> All right. Um, say so you're saving your life, you're saving your life. But you catch the vibe here. This remember we're dealing with the bad boys, right? So this is sodium and, um, why well, I keep saying sodium? Potassium, sodium. Then calcium, magnesium. I could learn them numbers one time. This 19, 11, 20, 12. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. We knew that. So these are the metals that get in on bad. And now we're learning the reaction with oxygen. So with oxygen, all of them burn, burns. All of them. But when I'm talking about these two, and I, I like to learn things exactly like what I see it in the textbook. I, I don't know, I just take the pride in it exactly like what I see it, especially if I trust the textbook and I trust the, or I trust my lessons teacher or whatever, I learn it exact. So I'm they say burn vigorously, I'm gonna learn burns vigorously. What do you guys call vigorously? Vigorously. Burns vigorously. So these two is the burns vigorously guys. Um, calcium is burns very easily, and this one is the burns easily. So these are the same words I'm gonna use if it pop in the exam. Burn and do polymers already. So search Cohen spring and polymers and channel and you'll get your polymers. Burns vigorously, burns vigorously, burns very easily, burns easily. So you're just using a nice little descriptor to go down there, getting less and less. Um, you also want to know. You also want to know the flame. I'm going to back this up a little bit. Hey, give yourself that, brother. Back up a little bit. You also want to know the flame color. What's the color of them flames, people? Give me some colors there. One, two, three, four. Give me some colors, some colors. And you also want to know the equations. Well, the equations is the easiest thing in the whole wide world. You learn one equation, you learn them all. Um, the, the equation, you just need to know how to balance equations. I can't see Alice right now, so I, I don't know. I can't see his comments. He's blocked. Um, somebody say orange. Somebody say lilac. Well, the colors for potassium is lilac. 
is lilac, orange, brick red, white. I remember magnesium is white. White. Well, lilac is a kind of purple, right? So white. My um, calcium is brick red. Okay, if you see so. Brick red. Sodium is the orange guy. And this sodium is orange, like the like and my mind just run on the sodium street lamps. That is what my mind run on there. So let me put him orange. And potassium is lilac. So the flames, right? Lilac flames. Now before I do the equation, which is the last thing, I should talk about one more thing with how they how, how it happens. When potassium and sodium when potassium and sodium react, them burning out, <laughs> them just burning out, right? Vigorously. You see, burns vigorously. They're just burning out vigorously to, to form the oxide, sorry. But when calcium and magnesium react, why is somebody playing at this? When calcium and... Oh, Harrell, you back. When your time out finish, give yourself now. Please, now, brother. Oh, gosh. Let me learn something here. We're helping the nations. Um, so you have lilac, orange, brick red, white. I uh, was saying when, when potassium and sodium react, they react and they form a... No, they just react vigorously and burn out. When calcium and magnesium react, the oxide could form a coating around them. The oxide could form a coating. So, all right. So let's let's see. Um, so I'll just put in brackets for these burns vigorously to form a coating. These yeah, coat, coat, copy. You understand what I'm doing here, right? All of a sudden, I feel the need to review back what I just learned in the um, physical properties. You understand how my mind works? So uh, it, it keeps double checking, double checking, double checking. So in the physical properties, we started off it. Let's see if we got this right. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Melting point, boiling point. I draw the arrow. This leads to being a solid at room temperature, except mercury. Then what's, what's next? Conduct. Heat and electricity, they are good conductors. Then we talk about malleability and ductile. Hard, shiny, and the last one was high density. That was here. Oh, I didn't say the word lust, that was shiny. So I'll go back and check and make sure that I got everything correct. See if I leave out something. And you see, mistakes are like learning points. So I wouldn't forget this next time that I decide to bring this back up. And the fact that I'm bringing it back up, your mind looks like this. You remember that the full the first time you start to forget when you bring it back up, it you're forgetting less um at a less rapid rate. And if I bring it back up again, I remember it might maybe straight to the exam, right? I come to clown cooing. All right, all right. Ellis, Ellis, oh gosh, man. Hi user from channel timeout. Where you are you want timeout or you want to uh, hide? Take our next time out now, give me our next chance. I feel, I feel maybe I had a little corona or something. Yeah, yeah. Coronavirus, coronavirus. Um, right. You get a time out for 300 seconds. Let me see what happens. Um, yeah, so review that. Okay, back to this. Equations. So these remember these guys in group one. So when them reacting and oxygen, their 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 charge, they what would be their charge? Their charge is um, plus one oxygen, two minus, right? So potassium plus oxygen. Uh, why using equal sign? Come out of the maths line. Come out of the maths life. So a little bit more symbols and thing one time too. Um. Potassium solid plus oxygen gas, right? That's how this reaction is going to be. From oxygen will be O2. So this is two. This is one. So I need one of you and two of you, right? So this is two O. 
So since I have two of this, and I have one of this, I'm going to put a two here. Uh, but that just gave me two here, and again, need two there. So what happened? I need to put a four here. You see why, right? And I went through a video of how to balance these things last year. I'm going to put a four here and a two there. I see what okay. So again, a nice multiple there now. So I can put two. Two by two is four. And then two by the oxygen will give me this. Hey, I don't need no two here. You, you, I don't need no two there, boy. Right? So two by that is four. The two, this two um, governs this whole thing, right? So there's two oxygens, which I have there. Um, we not get. So the, the sodium will have the similar thing as that. There's the whole accuracy came in this class. Oh yeah, by the way, take a picture now. Take a screenshot now and tag, put it on your, let's call this Instagram. I don't know, I just forgetting things. Put it on your Instagram. Or yeah, whatever, I don't know where you're on, where you're on. Somebody on TikTok, I don't know. Put it on your TikTok or your Instagram and like yourself. Let me just do the calcium because magnesium will follow calcium. So calcium is two, right? So calcium is two using the same states. Solid, oxygen, gas. Um two two. So I can just put CO2 and done. So no, I can just put C O and done, right? Because yeah. This is two minus and this is two plus earlier earlier like each other they're riding one time. Balance. Shocks, not balance. I need a two here. You see why I need a two there, right? Because I have two oxygens on this side. Two oxygen atoms. So if I put two there, no I have part two here for this calcium. Alright. So well done, Kimberly. How are to the people? Alright. Thing. What kind of name? I was going C sex stuff. Um, Kyle Cohen, only one clout. All right? Did you know I don't know what I do in here? <laughs> All right, the chat. We have some people in the chat. Uh, um, enjoying yourself, really enjoying yourself. Say so saving your life. Yes, I'm saving your life. So why is in the chat if you understand it's one like one of us here studying some chemistry people from all over the region why is in the chat if you understand this press y and enter if you understand this um now we need to know how the middle guys would react aluminum zinc iron lead well aluminum zinc and iron is what i see in here aluminum zinc and iron so let's take them. And we just learn any symbols here. We nearly done for tonight. Aluminium, zinc, and iron. And once again, we want to know um, the reaction. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. There's a little clarification I want to do. There's a little clarification I want to do. This reaction here describes oxygen in heated air. Right? If it's in dry air, the reaction will be a little different. Because I remember doing this in, in class and the magnesium ribbon. Not out here, that's reacting just so. The magni oh. Alice <laughs> the magnesium was magnesium ribbon was reacting just so 
So if you just have oxygen in dry air, what will happen is that reaction will be a little different. The lilac flame and, and thing has to do with heated with heated air. So verify that. So this one is burns readily, readily to form. You can parallel very in front of these very readily. Um, we just put readily here. Sodium and, and Potassium is the two gangsters, they're always burning very well. And magnesium is slowly, reacts slowly. Reacts slowly. So with that, we just memorize off the whole thing. So let's just recap. This is the first four. The, we, we, in our mind, we term and these are the gangsters, right? These are the fellas who like to react. Potassium and sodium, group one, them doing the thing. If the air heated, them want to explode in the air, right? You think it of it like that. We'll just say burns vigorously. Um, the others burn very easily or burn easily. Once you have heat coming up with that air. Yeah, so heated in it. And oxygen, if it's just oxygen, if it just expose it to oxygen and dry it. So like if you take all the magnesium and you just have it in dry air just so, it will react slowly. And then that is what I remember, because you could have whole magnesium ribbon and you wasn't getting no fire starting up on you just so, right? But if you have potassium in dry air, it will start to react with the air one time to form potassium. Um, calcium, magnesium, these form the coating. Right, 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 right. These form the coating. I'm put the coating over here. As it reacting, it will start to form a coating on itself. You know, like rust. Always think of rust. The coating of. So, all right, why is in the chat if you get that? Any questions? So, what application you using to make your videos? A, a, a series of applications. Will this be uploaded? Yes. Eyebrows can gain me some keep knowledge here. Well done. The color of the flame has to do with the frequency. Um. On the electromagnetic spectrum of the energy when the electrons move in from different um, orbitals, different energy levels. So yeah, we're not in that right now. Um, so what application? Multiple choice. Will we do them for chem. Uh, we'll do. So, we should do some multiple choice questions. Some sample multiple choice questions. Nazim. Nazim. <laughs> Don't worry about Nazim. Alright, so we get we good. Let's get the last let's get the last section. Aluminum, zinc, iron. Aluminium, zinc, iron. We have one um description of the reaction with dilute acids. Oh sorry, oxygen. With oxy, with, let's let's put air. Let's separate this like this. Air, just in dry air, and this one is heat and oxygen. Heat and oxygen. So if you heat it in oxygen, so in dry air, aluminium slowly coated, zinc slowly coated. So. These are the same, slowly, slowly. So all was doing these slow reactions, um, magnesium, aluminum, and zinc was reacting slowly. Magnesium, aluminum, and zinc was reacting slowly. And getting that coat of the oxide on them. And we know for a fact that aluminum, when it forms the coat, it doesn't be able to get underneath. And the coat for aluminium is shiny, and the coat for aluminium sticks. The coat for iron flakes, right? Does not react. So iron is no reaction. So with dry air, 
<clears throat> because they know iron could rust, right? Um, all right, what about if we heat it in air? One, two, three. When heated strongly. So you have to heat these soldiers strongly and preferably in powdered state. Like if it powdered, yeah, yeah, you get you. So heat it strongly and in powdered state and you're inside the mix. When is due? Uh, I don't have a timetable yet for, for like, I don't know if you're talking about the lies or for the exam itself. The, the timetable for the exam is online. So that is that. Now let's just get the reactions. Um, give me some of these reactions here. Like give me write the chemical reactions for these. We nearly finished. We just need to talk about the dilute acid and what water or steam yes aluminum forms a tin coating of aluminum oxide which is shiny so aluminum oxide that has its benefits so you learn that separately um so the reactions are there you could go through and learn the reactions based on the oxidation numbers Yes, I have a, I don't know if I have a video explaining equations, but I know I did a live video on that last year. I don't know if it's still up. So can you do, can you get the timetable for CXE, please? It's online. You just search CXE timetable on Google and you'll be able to get it. Go on the website and they'll get it. The timetable for 2021 online right now. The timetable has been online for a long time. What about water? Now the top three, the top three, or the top four, the bad boys who we had here, they react with water. Just so you don't need to put it in like steam. So reacts vigorously with cold water. Same lilac, suppose potassium, uh, potassium. We have vigorously with cold water for sodium as well. Same orange, calcium. Start to ease up, reacts moderately. So, what is this class about? This class is about CXE chemistry, just reviewing and studying metals right now. See, second organic chemistry. So, potassium and sodium, vigorous reaction, even with cold water. Same flame business going on, lilac, orange. You need to know your equations. Calcium, moderate, magnesium slow with cold water i'll just stop saying that I, can, I cannot read what michael thomas and young king <coughs> is saying and you may take it we are no school for a week so you just had a chill so why is in the chat if you have that in your mind because we're going to recap everything just now so we talked about the oxygen i even write the oxygen but i using um i'm speaking i'm talking about the um reaction in water right now so the reaction in the water, we divide it into brackets. Like some could just react with cold water. Some it need to be steam. The cold water guys are like the top three. Potassium, lilac flame, burn. Sodium, uh, orange flame, burns vigorously. Reacts moderately is calcium. And reacts slowly is magnesium. But if you use steam with magnesium, the reaction gets back vigorous. Um, Aluminium doesn't react with hot or cold water. And you know this, aluminium sheets, water ain't doing it nothing. But if you hit them, a steam, it can react with steam. You don't need to use a descriptor, it reacts with steam. Yeah, I teach in, I teach in rivers. Limits as extends to zero. Paragraphs. <laughs> so yeah, so it reacts with steam. And who does not react with water or steam? Copper and silver, and obviously gold. No reaction in water or steam. So let's get some equations out of the way as well. 
When it reacting with water, it forming the hydroxide. When it reacting with steam, you forming your oxide. Right? If it could, re if it's one of those that could react with water, it's going to form the hydroxide. If it's one of those that reacts with steam, rem remember this is going to form the oxide. I know we have some people in the seventy three just listening. Um. Now, nah, Ira's giving you some good information. I know Ira's giving you some good information. It's from <coughs> one of my pure maths classes. Um, yeah, we're well, going to do some, some equations. Anybody have a past paper? Look up a past paper on the topic. So, potassium plus water. Giving you potassium hydroxide. Hydroxide is one. This one is plus, so that's good. Plus steam. So the hydroxide plus the steam. Balance that. Balancing. Put a two here. Because of the H2. Put a two here, put a two here. And somebody gave me a reaction with the aluminium just now. That's with the oxide, right? Great. Did you just do the that's with the oxygen? See we see the time with guys. No, no, no. We have some students in Five Rivers who put in music. And it's a little tougher, but yeah. And I teach students. I probably. One of the persons I know teach probably the most, the widest range of students. Right? I teach students from nearly every single. I mean, teach like actually physical um, school. Right, and then online is like across the whole Caribbean. So two potassium water thing thing thing. We pay in a little state student gas aqueous liquid solid. So that's like what we're dealing with. So what you wanna do is write out all the equations for this. Write out all the equations, memorize them, and you're good to go. Any questions surrounding this? We learned all the trends already. Anybody find a past paper yet that has it? I, I'm going to look for the past papers just now. Because uh, I kind of feeling, like right now I'm feeling like it's time to do a past paper. Then. The last thing you need to know is the reaction with hydrochloric acid. Now you should know this orphan. Salt and hydrogen. Salt and water. <laughs> Extremely violent, extremely violent, extremely violent. Very slow. Salt and hydrogen. Right? So um, we'll just do one with the um, hydrochloric acid. And it's the same principle. So simple term, we're related right now. We'll live and do that tomorrow. Um, we'll have the crash course in maths coming up, so I'm not worried about the maths. But I want to get some of these topics in chemistry and physics. I want to do some of these already. So, potassium, violent reaction, extremely violent. Sodium, violent. Calcium, fairly violent. Magnesium, vigorous. Aluminium, vigorous. Zinc, fairly vigorous. Iron, slow. Copper, no, 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 no. Copper, yeah, you see why we did this last time. Hydrogen beating on copper, so hydrogen sticking with the acid. <laughs> copper not strong enough to get rid of the hydrogen from the acid. Copper not strong enough to wrap, wrap. So all of these are really dealing with no HCl, right? These things come. These things come. I don't do business subjects yet. So HCl. It's CL, what we need to learn from this uh, salt and hydrogen. 
a balance equation to suit and um, an extinct copper nah copper is in nah what are the things we could take from this um we could take the words say so your handwriting it's hurting my eyes <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'll try to improve during the season i've been trying to improve my handwriting three years now um potassium is the extremely violent so you say want to take the words extremely violent 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 vigorous fairly vigorous slow no this life saving yeah the life saving although i lost some steam during the middle of the live um deals but we let we let it save because I, I know it can help some people later on all right so way one oh one six minutes past already let's try and get some past people's done the, the, if you remember we we just all we did there was finish off this section eh? that's all we do here 1.1 1 .1. that's all we do the next section deals with reaction of the metallic oxides hydroxides nitrates and carbonates so again, I'm gonna spend a little time. So please write a little better. All right, I'll try. I'll try to write a little better. I'm gonna look up some past papers here. Let's see if I can get some. Um, let's see if I can find some on this man um, profile. All right. If you learn something tonight, say yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to check 2018. What is chemistry here? Man? Just guessing right now. What is chemistry? This is Infotech. This is Atmats. This is chemistry all right i find some chem jan paper two ah people said to put something may june paper three i ain't going up into that jan paper two 2006 number five um let me see if i can find that jan paper two 2006 all the all them old years when well, they ask me if I have them thing man. Seen 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2013, 2014, 15. This man don't have them years. Hey, I exhaust the whole thing. How to come out of this one? Um, open in so far. Excuse me. May, June, twenty nineteen. To be all right. That's on in. That's on in reason. So that's Jan. May, June, twenty nineteen. To be. Paper two, two. Which element in table two forms an oxide, which at least is as not to take a pH? Yeah, that kind of, kind of, kind of, yeah. But yes, you have to know your knowledge on that. Um, I need to snap the table too. So we get a piece of a question here. Somebody see if they can find a question in the earlier year too. Now. Hey, this thing in real trouble to screenshot, bro. Give yourself my brother. Let me get the screenshot now. All right. Uh, let's see if I can find another one. We find the term alloy, well, the, yeah. They went into alloys here. This is the next part of it. Metal alloy. Anybody else find a uh, earlier paper? Oh, no, I've seen something here, man. 
a student is investigating your activity so you're going to see what the what style of question is coming so i'm going to snap the whole question question six you're looking at those questions yeah we do it for the cloud a man said we need for the cloud chess well in a way yeah Write the in a net equation for the reaction between ion and copper sulfate solution. Um, boom. So this is like an entire question that can come. Jan 2020, question six. All right, so I'll come into those just now. But the question will involve some stuff that we didn't yet learn tonight, but that maybe tomorrow night we can do some more. Um, I feel like tomorrow night we will do some more because this went fairly okay. Now, well, this was the first part here. Now, let me snap out. Let me get a better position. This is what somebody was sharing. Which element in table, this part of the question, ignore this part, right? Explain why space in table period three, well, you know that, right? Which element in table two forms an oxide which readily dissolves in water to give a solution of pH greater than seven? Write a balance equation to support your answer. Well, pH greater than seven, alkaline, readily dissolves in water. You're going with sodium. You're going in sodium. Uh, forms an oxide. Which really is what it is. So what do you oxide? Sodium oxide plus water. Sodium hydroxide. But this is not this is not really what we are what we are learning. This is not really what we are doing. So you balance this and you go through. Mm. But the question that we are learning, we are learning was um, near the end. So you know we have to come back and swing back for that. You see the term alloy here? Let's see where on the syllabus that is coming in. I know it coming in sooner or later. Trying to close this. Boom, bang, bang, bang. Um, problem, problems. Reaction uses alloys. So this whole of this whole one, two, three is this question here. This whole one to three is this question here. So watch this entire question so you'll get the idea of what we'll do. We'll probably come back to the question tomorrow. We have to define the term alloy. So we come into this. Then we name one alloy of aluminum and state. So we had to know the alloys of aluminum. And state is used based on one of its enhanced properties. And then here we see some of the stuff we're learning already. Investigate the reactivity. Each of the following metals, copper, iron, zinc, da da da, by using a solution of their sulfate salts. This is where they're using a solution of their sulfate salts, not the iron, not the metal itself. Uh, let's go forward. So, tomorrow, God spare life. We want to come and clean up this. Right. So the data presented in table three shows the visible reaction. Da, 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 da. So you're seeing a kind of displacement here. A kind of displacement set up. Who knocking out who? Let's try and interpret this table. What year is this? 2019. The data presented in table three shows whether a visible react chemical reaction took place when each metal was added to the four sulfate. Alright, so let's see. We have copper sulfate. When copper was added, no visible reaction, duh. Um, iron, yeah. Zinc, yeah. Lead, yeah. What does that tell you? Copper again licks from everybody. Iron, 
nothing, zinc, yeah, lead, no. Zinc, nobody could have beat out zinc, lead, iron come true and the zinc come true. So I guess maybe you had to put them in order. Ting, ting. Kyle, Kyle says, sir, I look to switch to some admats. Um, admats come in, admats come in. Somebody tell Kyle bus out. Din, din. Okay. Um, thanks for the help, blah, 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 blah. So we're going, we're going. Um, lead. All right, so let's see what the question is about. Uh, boom. Stage with two metal is more reactive. I don't think can give reason for your answer. So answer that question there. You'll see in it. You'll see in it. Let me make it a little bigger. Based on the table, here, yeah, state which two metals are more reactive. Oh, shucks. So let me pull back up this table here. Then, but, uh, which two metals are more, is more reactive? Which of the two is more reactive? And give a reason for your answer. Dun, 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 dun. Do you have any Richards in the watch code head? Zinc. Zinc is more reactive, right? Now give the reason for your answer. What's the reason for your answer? We see it. Oh. Because it's high in the reactivity series. That wouldn't pass. You need to give an answer based off of this. Why is zinc more reactive based off of the chemical reaction of metals in sulfate solutions? You need to give a reaction based off of that. Yeah, there's more reactions occurring in zinc, but you need to come specific. And to have a moderator, why is that teaching? It's higher up. Zing because it displaces FeSO4. Does that happen? Yes. So that answer, because in the table it displaces iron from right. So that is the answer we're looking for. So um, Miss Line, I'm going to teach you this. Well, she needs to teach her. Maybe she needs to get and, and the kernel. Zinc is more reactive because it has a large amount of atoms. No, 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 no. Yeah, according to the table. So people already stated the answer. Zinc displaces. Ah, uh, I'm supposed to write better. This pieces iron. In F E S O four, iron does not displace zinc and So the iron not displacing. All right, next question. Use any data in table three on the use the order of reactivity of the four metals. Put them in order here. From the most reactive, the important to watch it, to the least reactive. Next thing I went from least to most, get right and wrong at the same time. All right. Uh, let me see if anybody need a little relax.
I don't mind. I don't mind the talk. I just oh gosh. But I ask the question. Focus on the question. So using the data in table three on page twenty two. So. Zinc, iron, lead, copper. Zinc from most reactive to these reactive. So zinc, iron, lead, copper. So you see again two marks for that. All you find that two marks hard, people say chemistry hard. That two marks wasn't so bad, that two marks wasn't so bad. Based on what we already do just tonight, you can get them four marks there. Right? Um what else? Let's see if we let's see what's the next part of the question. So tomorrow night we'll come back with some more of this. The student recorded the following observations from reaction between the iron and copper sulfate solution. A company observation from reaction between the iron and copper sulfate. <clears throat> iron and copper sulfate solution. So observe the reddish brown solid coating formed on the iron strip. Blue color of the solution changed to dirty green. This a little bit forward. This a little bit into the future. And I think we'll catch this soon. Yeah. We're gonna catch this soon. So we're gonna come back and talk, talk, be able to finish this question tomorrow. We all attend presentation college. <clears throat> now I see now you're curious, see people. What school are you from? Shout out what school are you from before we go. Shout out what school are you from before we go. <clears throat> There's these same people with all these talks is come back in my inbox. Results, season and say so thanks and things. <laughs> we get the one. Um, we end this with the copper from the copper sulfate solution. Yes, that, that's correct. Shout out your school and your country before we rack up for tonight. Tonight what we learned was the chemical reactions and the physical properties. We touch a little past paper. We learn how to memorize the tables. Tomorrow we could come through it this section of the syllabus here. So I see in Calabar in Jamaica, I see Benedict, St. Ignatius, Bigger Prayers, Ashda, Success Laventil, Clarendon, QRC, UTT, Savannah Sec. Well, that's cool for you. Prayer St. Anthony, Shabonas North, Suriname. <laughs> Go in, don't take them on. You're from here, you QRC, and you can feel free to contact the college for any complaints about misbehavior. Will do, will do. I know some teachers earlier, uh, my network bigger. Ashda, Charlieville, Prayers outside China. I think, I think I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Big up Woodbrook, Curious, Faisabad West, BIL High, San Fernando Central, from Guyana Region 9, Ignatia, boy, yeah, plenty from that school, boy. Um, Antigua, Clarendon, Mokarapo. <laughs> Alia, come on, they bring on the corona. Um, corona, corona. Yeah, so uh, so we do it now. Um, we'll we'll come through this tomorrow. Today, what we did was cover this section here. 1.1, 1 .1, you can go and take a little review of it, watch over this video, see if we cover everything according to your liking. What we're going to come through is this section next, and maybe knock off this whole two point, maybe even knock off the whole at two and three. Right? So, blessings. Carl Ellis from 4.5. Here comes Sayadan again. Sayadan, so long, you take the make that profile boy and then come back again. The whole profile thing, by um, Ellis. <laughs> um, yes, yes.
So we got a little further press like on the video, share it, people. See you tomorrow. Ellis, see you tomorrow. Um QRC people, see you later tomorrow. Follow. Follow Instagram at X that X check his link on his bio and, and you get some past people's there. CXC.tt on Instagram, follow them too. They must have um, links. And follow me on Instagram to know if I come in through live tomorrow, if anything hold me up. Whatever. Big up Sue Baba. Yeah, I'm going to hear like in tech for, for this uh, season here. I'm going to hear like, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Once my Baba don't go away and me like last year. Um, I need to hide it. Oh yeah, I do like to have to hide people from each channel, but I can't have you all attacking people on each channel, right? Um, we get a link, we get a link. I can see here whole night. What is the next stream, man?